Hey there, Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley here from the WVLT Newsroom. Wanted to give you an update on what's been going on. Obviously kind of just coming off of really what was two WVLT first alert weather days. The winds, then the windy rain, and we do still have winds and rain left over, uh, but really we were focused on just everyone trying to get out the door on this Tuesday morning uh, with some much needed moderate to heavy rain rolling through. Um, so the key there is, yes, absolutely we needed it, but it was really kind of coming in when a lot of folks are on the roads at the same time. So it is going to continue the next couple of hours. Uh, that's why I was suggesting maybe packing your lunch so you don't have to get back out in it today. So let's talk about the latest kind of that big picture. If you've been joining us on WVLT News, obviously you've been keeping up with this with meteorologist Paige Noel. I'll be on at noon and into the evening hours for you today as we wind down on this 100% coverage. Now, ponding is still a concern as we have a good 100% coverage of our area, really with some bands of moderate to heavy rain at times through midday to early afternoon. Then scattered rain is a little more on and off for the afternoon to early evening, becoming spotty. And then we transition over to that cooler air on the way. And that's what will give us even a couple of mountains snow showers. We'll talk about that in a moment. In that WVLT first alert weather app, every single hour we've been posting the latest. Actually, here in just a second, the video I just did for you for the app will, will be there readily available so you can see close looks at how much rain we've had so far. And even just in this big picture map, you can see where it's a few hundredths to a tenth of an inch in those foothills. That's where those downhill winds are drying out that leading edge of rain. But the bands of moderate to heavy rain are still spreading out across our area. At the moment, paused on your live radar, layers of clouds. You can see some of that heavier rainfall downhill from the Smokies, lower elevations of Blount County, Sevier County, for example, a couple of showers in Cock County at the moment. And then more of those greens to yellows and oranges, a much more colorful radar than we've seen in a while. So that better rainfall. Again, temperatures not really going anywhere today, just kind of hanging out in the 50s to around 60 as we do have that cooler air pressing into our area. We'll feel the effects more so tomorrow, but just keep that in mind today. It's just kind of that cool rain, rain jacket definitely coming in handy because big picture, that last band is over here towards Nashville. So you can see that back edge starting to creep closer to Cookville, then Crossville, and then across the rest of our area. So that's why we still have several hours of some of these bands of moderate to heavy rain adding up in our area. So definitely some good news. If you want to take a close look here at that live radar, curious as to where there's some heavier rain, maybe you live in Newport, about to hit the road, driving towards Knoxville, you'd be driving right into some of that heavier rainfall. You can see it, and again, in those yellows to oranges, that's your heavier rainfall, that legend there at the top of the screen for you. Up I-75, 40-75 split around Knox, 40 across Cumberland and Roan counties, all getting soaked right Right now, again, that's why we are focused on a morning commute. First alert weather day. Still some messy roads, of course, the next few hours. Morgan Anderson getting drenched. A little more broken edge there. Jamestown to Oneida. So that's where you got a window there before that last wave comes in from Nashville. Got some good moderate rain to heavier rain. Williamsburg area to Middlesbrough, Tazewell, and Sneedville. And again, there's that little opening there between Newport and Greenville trying to close that up with this next batch. So I mentioned those winds coming downhill are actually creating that little bit of a dry slot there in those foothills to mountains. And that's where those gusts are still up. 20 to some 40 mile per hour winds right now. Plateau to foothills and mountains and at times in far northeast Tennessee too. Again, those can dry out that rain as it rolls into our area. So let's talk more about the future gusts because this will continue for the next few hours. So that's where those winds are really still up into the mountains to far northeast Tennessee around one o'clock. Notice they start decreasing on the plateau. Still some breezy conditions down in the valley, but the peak wind gusts for the valley, Knoxville area, for example, 30 miles per hour. So nowhere near as windy as our higher elevations yesterday to today. And everybody can feel those winds dropping off this afternoon to evening. So some more good news there in terms of improving conditions. But again, that's why that red flag warning continues. You get that drying out of that leading edge of rain. So we're not getting necessarily the beneficial rains in some of the mountains where there are some active wildfires and you still have those gusts up into even 50 to 70 miles per hour the higher up you get in those mountain tops. So that elevation change really does help ramp up those winds. It's important to keep that in mind as to why that red flag warning continues. So let's walk through that first alert future cast here over the next hour of more of these bands of moderate to heavy rain. You can see that again becoming a little more on and off on the plateau, continuing to push east, get some good heavy rainfall in parts of the valley to far northeast Tennessee still in that one to two o'clock hour. Actually, two o'clock hour, this is when a lot of the schools are dismissing today right before the Thanksgiving break, and you're still going to have some moderate to heavy rain in parts of Knox, it blunt, severe counties, definitely Jefferson County. 
soon as at least the western half. Anderson, you start seeing some improvements closer to the 3 o'clock hour, trying to push that back edge out from scattered to spotty for that late afternoon to evening commute. So on WVLT News this evening, we'll still be tracking some rain as it's exiting. Last few pockets of rain headed out, cooler air headed in. So let's jump ahead because there is a lot going on here in addition to the rainfall we've had so far. Another half an inch to three quarters of an inch trying to come through for parts of our area. So that's where we can get those isolated one plus inch rainfall potential there. Notice up mountain tops versus downhill, Pigeon Forge versus Gatlinburg versus the mountain tops. That's some of that dry slot that is because of the winds coming downhill. Then you can see some of the ups and downs in rainfall, Southern Valley to Central Valley. Got you covered here, zooming in. We always have a forecast where you live on WVLT News because obviously we want to highlight all the nooks and crannies of our area. You can see those ups and downs and what's still on the way for your plateau. Obviously, you've already had some more rain, and then there's some on and off rain coming through towards Jamestown. Some moderate to heavy rain still adding up in that half an inch to an inch total rainfall potential for the rest of today. Far northeast Tennessee, far southeastern Kentucky, and then we're keeping an eye on that little gap there, basically, going up the mountainside because of those winds. So in terms of tomorrow, I mentioned it gets cooler. Notice it's not as active on that first alert future cast. There are a lot of clouds. There's a couple of light rain showers and, yes, even a couple of light mountain top snow showers. Boy, the mountains, y'all have had just a whole wide assortment of conditions. Let me show you that mountain top snowfall potential. It's not much at all. Uh, Mount Leconte folks, or I guess the, the one guy up there in this off season, might have a good photo for us uh, by the end of the day on Wednesday. But we're all feeling the effects of this cold air as it moves in and the system moves on. So in our WVLT first alert weather app, I want to point out it travels with you, meaning if you want to set it to your GPS location or if you want to pick a location you're headed to or maybe loved ones are coming from, you know, we, we keep an eye out on that, that regional view so we can keep you updated through that app as well, even when you're on the go. And I know a lot of folks, you or loved ones maybe are traveling over the next couple of days. So I want to point out where that band of rain is moving into the Carolinas. You still have some up and down winds in the mountains, not as bad as it has been. Some fog and a couple of showers. Again, I just showed you for Wednesday. You can see windier conditions across Georgia and the Carolinas going into your Wednesday as well. So just wanted to kind of give you that big picture outlook. Again, Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley here talking about all the ups and downs we've seen, felt, and then, of course, what's still on the way with the back edge of that cold front that we're tracking for you. We'll actually see you on WVLT News at noon and this evening. I mentioned that WVLT First Alert weather app. Uh, you can just search WVLT weather in your app store. Um, we also have some links readily available for you on WVLT.tv. So if you want to go to the latest forecast, you can obviously read it up here. We've got you covered. But then we also have those links kind of readily for you so that you can be prepared if you are traveling, if you're staying here at home. We've got you covered one way or the other. So hopefully everybody can stay informed to stay safe.